it is time for us as a people to be filled completely. Jesus passively described to his disciples that in a situation that he goes away and send the Holy Ghost into our hearts. The Holy Ghost is not only important but essential to life. Did you hear me? Amen. Being filled with the Holy Ghost is not only important but it's essential to life. Understand, brothers and sisters, that the coming of the Holy Ghost was equally important as the coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. God manifested in the flesh. Glory to God. Jesus, he saves us from our past life, but the Holy Ghost empowers us to live the life that God created for us. Yes, yes, come on. You and I cannot live Amen. This life that God created for us, amen, to the fullness, unless we are filled, come on somebody, what, with the Holy Ghost. Let me help you understand something. Somebody said, why? Why do we need the Holy Ghost? Why do we need the Holy Ghost? We need the Holy Ghost because Jesus told Nicodemus, without the Spirit, you cannot enter in to the kingdom of God. Without the Holy Ghost, amen, you can't live with me eternally. Without the Holy Spirit, you, my God, glory to God. Amen. You can only, amen, see, but you can't touch. Good God Almighty. Understand, people of God, why do we need the Holy Ghost? Because without the Holy Ghost, our lives are stuck in neutral and going nowhere. I'll say it again. Without the infilling, going nowhere. But is anybody here that want to go somewhere? Is there anybody want to go higher? Is there anybody want to have not just another church service, but want to have a divine encounter with God? It's the God Almighty. Anybody can come to church. But go to God. We can get filled with the Holy Ghost. And my God, when you get filled with the Spirit, when you leave the church, He leaves right along with you. Because amen, He's in you. And wherever you go, the Holy Ghost is right there with you. Can the church say yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Oh, I feel something here. Without the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost. The Spirit, the Holy Ghost began to show me that we got a lot of folks that are stuck in neutral going nowhere. Hallelujah. How could it be in 2015? Amen. He's stuck in neutral and going nowhere. Because could it be? Because you have have not allowed yourself to experience the fullness of God's Spirit. Uh, yes, this is H2O. Uh huh. It's called Aquafina. Aquafina. Uh huh. In order, in order for me, amen, praise God, praise God, to get some Aquafina water, I had to willingly go to the store and purchase it. Now, amen, their job was to prepare it. Their job, uh huh, was to go through the manufacturing process, get the bottles all shaped right, and get the water completely filled to the top and seal it, amen, where nobody could get in it until the person who bought it purchased it. Yes, yes. Now, they can do all of that and make sure it's ready to drink. But guess what? It took my desire, it took a willingness on my part to say, wait a minute, this water is drinkable and it's good and it's healthy, but I've got to be willing to do something. Uh huh. I've got to be willing to take the cap off, uh huh, and turn the water bottle and put it in my mouth so I can get the infilling, uh huh, of this new H2O down in my belly. Good God Almighty. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, my God, my God. Uh, you don't have to wait no longer. Uh, somebody talk about I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, uh, good God Almighty. Uh, I know. I know. My God. Uh, in Luke the twenty-fourth chapter, when Jesus promised the Holy Ghost, the first thing that He told His disciples was to wait and to tarry. He said, "I want you to wait in Jerusalem." Uh, good God Almighty. I want you to go right there, you uh, and the apostles, you. Uh, come on, somebody. I want. Uh, he said, "I want my people." He said, "Don't go. Don't go past Jerusalem. Don't go around Jerusalem. You got to go right there." I tell you, in order, my God, for me to, for you to see my promise fulfilled in your life. That's what's wrong with some of us. The reason why we cannot obtain the other reason why we can't get all that God has for us because we refuse to follow the instructions. They have specific instructions. 
Washington. They had a specific location. Jerusalem. He didn't say go to Samaria. He come on somebody. He didn't say go to Philadelphia. Good God Almighty. He said go to Jerusalem. He said because it's going to be right there in Jerusalem that I'm going to pour out my spirit on you. He said I want you to go there so I can empower you with the Holy Ghost. Not just to speak in tongues, glory to 